pulling back. Google still above 33 and still pushing. Wow. Impressive. Apple new highs, AMD new highs, Nvidia trying, Microsoft also trying no man's land, Baba new lows. AMD makes new highs. Let's set a new high a day. Let's go back over to Baba. What is going on with Baba? Why is she in lows? Meta Meta is still in its pre-market range. ES still in its pre-market range. There's nothing to do here. Baba new lows. Just going to continue watching Baba. Here comes the ES turning around. All of a sudden dropping out. <clears throat> there is selling in this Baba, it looks like. I think this Baba has room to 95. Yes, coming in. I'm looking at this 96.50 here in Baba against like 96.80. Yeah, that Baba's getting sold. There's NVIDIA on the highs. Um, I am going to try that 96.50 in BABA against 96.80. If it comes back. Uh, NVIDIA on highs. Here's Meta back up. NVIDIA 470. High day. Let's go back to Meta and BABA. Meta in no man's land. BABA... fluttering around 96. There's AMD on highs, set new high a day, and go back to BABA. ES yeah, still in the middle of its range. Baba into the 20s. Don't know what's gotten into AMD. It is just ripping. Here goes uh, here goes Meta as well. This AMD is just going just straight up with no. We've got uh, home sales uh, numbers coming out in eight minutes. Baba still trying to short it up here if we get a pop back up there. Up to the 30s. And then Meta back down. 
Again, still not cracking that pre-market range. What is Carvana doing? I haven't looked at that name in a while. Carvana. Look at the volume that's doing, Carvana. I should keep that up on the screen here. Baba, I'm very close to getting a fill in Baba. I'm only three cents away. I got a partial fill at 52 cents. Got a full fill at 52 cents, short Baba 52 cent average stop is above 80 cents. We are looking for first stop 95s, uh, uh, 9580s, and then second stop is 95. So first stop is 9580s, and then second stop is down here at 95. So let's see what Baba does if the selling continues. Um, this CVNA is pretty interesting. Let me set a low a day down here on CVNA. And uh, let's go look at coin. Coin's on lows as well. Let me put Baba over on this screen. Put coin over here. Baba coming into 96. Let me go ahead and set a cover uh, down near 96 right in front of the hole I'll cover a piece down there and then hold the rest for um, lows if we get down there market still has not cracked its pre-market range though and coin What is coin doing? Google's on highs. Google keeps marching. There goes Google to new highs. XPEV continues to sell off. AMD or Meta still in pre market range. AMD. Starting to come back in now. Amazon, Google, Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft's coming in as well. Baba, Carvana. I feel like they're selling this Carvana. And where's the spot? Let me go out to a five minute. And this Baba <clears throat> reversed, starting to head back up. Let's see if that comes back in. Yeah, this Carvana around 4280. Around 43. 20s. There goes Carvana to new lows. I think, what did I say? 4280s against 4320. Let's see if uh, if we get a pop in this Carvana, I would short that up there at 4280. And here comes Coin back into lows. Coin making new lows. And Baba still trying to hold out here. Market coming in and starting to threaten that low a day. Here comes Baba in. Can it get back down towards lows? Will that selling continue? Down into the 30s. There comes more selling. They're hitting bids now. Um, Carvana just comes straight in. So I'm up at 4280s, but don't know if we'll we'll get those. It just keeps coming in. Let me, I do have a low a day alert here. So Carvana, new lows. Uh, just hit them, actually. And here comes Baba down into the 30s.
down into the low 30s, seeing the bids continue to get hit. So if that seller is real, need to hold on because this has room down to 95. Here's the 20s, Baba continuing to get sold. <clears throat> My first cover is down near 96 hole. Um, yeah, Carvana came in, but my short is up there at the 4280s, so it's got a long way to go. Let's take a look at Tesla. Still no man's land, XPEV. No man's land, let's go to AMD. Still holding up at highs. Meta, still chopping around. Um... Baba pops back up, but I'm going to stay in my short. Um, Amazon holding out for highs still. Amazon doing a good job of holding up. Google still on highs. Also doing a good job holding up. Apple holding up above highs. Microsoft is coming in and getting sold. Need to keep an eye on that for a second day play follow through. NVIDIA pulls back a little bit. Bob I have on the other screen. Carvana doing heavy volume and coin <clears throat> coming in as well. Here's Tesla on lows. Interesting. Uh, let's pull Carvana back up and Baba. There's very little to do here. Market's still locked in its pre-market range, the ES. Microsoft new lows. <clears throat> Here comes the 10 a.m. pending home sales report right now. Microsoft on lows. Microsoft cracks pre-market lows. With that move, I'll set a new low a day there. Here comes Baba into the low 20s, starting to move here. Down into the teens, Microsoft on lows. I am only a few pennies from getting a partial cover here. Down to 13.11. I am down at 7 cents. Um, 9, 8... And I got my partial fill down there. First fill risk is covered in this BABA, and we are coming into 96. I wonder if they will go ahead and attack that 96 or how they're gonna how they're gonna do it. Again, I think there is room down to 95s. Let me go ahead and adjust my stop um, 96.80s. So risk is covered on BABA, and I'm gonna let the second piece ride see if we can um, get that down to 95. Um, let's see, Microsoft cracked lows. Uh, 33640 is the low a day. And AMD is on highs? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> AMD is on highs. They're still buying AMD. And what did Carvana do? Amazon on highs. Amazon new highs. I'll set a new high day there.
would like to see this Baba attack 96. It did not even get down to actually test it. Um, Carvana, new lows. The likelihood that I'll get those 4280 is diminishing now. Let's look at Tesla. Market is still in its pre-market range, but edging toward that bottom end now. Tesla, no man's land, AMD, new highs. I don't really see a way into AMD here. XPEV is moving so little, I'm actually just going to remove it. Meta, still in its no man's land. Nothing to do there. Still watching that carefully. The move on this meta will, if it does come, will likely come later in the day. And I want to have bullets left in order to participate in it. There's Carvana on new lows. And I'm going to have to cancel my bid or my offers up here in the 4280s because this Carvana is just not popping. Um, yeah, this thing is starting to reach territories where it's down 5% and I don't think I got it. That pop right there, that's as high as it went. I was looking for a pop up there. So let me cancel this, uh, these Carvana offers. Um, I'll put a 4280 would have filled and then a 43, 4330 would have stopped and I'll cancel my Carvanas. Here's coin on lows, coin new lows. And more importantly, here's Baba down back to 96. Let's see if they attack 96. Last time we were here, a buyer scooped up everything down at 96. I want to see what it looks like if they actually try to hit 96. Market edging toward that low end right there. Here comes the ES into pre market lows. Coin coming in. Carvana keeps moving down. Let me set a 41 low a day on Carvana just so I know that where it is at. And I'm seeing the low ticker starting to pick up pace here. Here's Baba coming into 96 again. There's coin on lows. So coin getting sold. Tesla, no man's land, AMD, Meta still chopping around. When will this range break? That's twice now we've been down here to 96 and we have not touched it. So I'd like to see 96 break soon. Or maybe I need to cover more of my position down here in front of 96. Although with the market coming in, that should aid things. We'll see. Smeta hasn't chosen a direction yet. Again, this move, this is just chop, 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 chop in the middle of the pre-market range, and I don't want to be involved in it. There goes the ES cracking pre-market lows for the first time in the session. ES on lows. Saw some stacking here and right there at 27 cents. Right there, 24 cents. That I, that is not. I don't know if that's real. Oh, they are getting taken. Actually, no, they are getting taken. 
So there is an institutional seller right there, and you can see them moving down. Let me set a marker here. You can see a seller right there. You saw that size right there, and they are continuing to move down. Those bids are disappearing, and they are repeating on the offer. Here comes big size into BABA. There is an institutional seller here selling, and they're just pushing. Someone picked it up there in front of 96, but they are pushing this down. Little pop as that seller disappears. I'm very curious to see how much that seller has left. ES continuing to make new lows. That seller disappears. Sometimes what can happen is those can be bluffs. So um, they will appear on the offer, but they're actually buying on the bid with hidden orders. Um, that is definitely something that can happen and is commonly used. But uh, we will see if this thing does attack 96 with volume, then I think that seller is real. If uh, we just, I mean, we that was the first time we even touched 96. If we go back um, and don't even touch 96 at all and we just continue back up here, then that was just a bluff. But definitely some games on the level two here in BABA as uh, a seller tries to and look at this big pop here that's fine I'm keeping my original stop ES on lows meta starting to move lower Tesla on lows ES making new lows So that's one, two, three times that we tested 96 and we could not break. <clears throat> Here's coin on lows. Let's look through everything. Tesla on lows. AMD coming in. Meta in its range. Amazon on highs. Google fading. Microsoft on lows and looking very precarious. What is going on here? Look at this. Uh, Apple pulling back into pre-market range. Uh, Nvidia as well. Carvana still on lows. Big volume as this Carvana starts to sell off. It's down 5%. And I'm starting to get suspicious on this Baba. The fact that we did not hit that 96 uh, hard, we didn't even trip it, and there was all that business on the level two down there, has got me a little bit spooked on Baba on the Baba short. I'm thinking about cutting it. I'm gonna cut Baba short. I'm going to just take it off at break even there. So I covered my risk, made money on the trade, but I do not like the what I'm seeing here. We attacked that really hard, and there was that all that selling on the level two, but we continue to move higher here. And so that looks like it was a bluff on the, on the offer side while someone was picking it up on the bid down here. That combined with one, two, three attempts at 96, and we didn't break through. I just don't. I don't um, I don't like the combination of those things. So flat Baba. Um, what could have been didn't, but we stay safe. Uh, Carvana with a small pop, and that might be it for me today. Check 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 one two. Okay, it's 11 a.m. here. And I just got filled, this meta just cracked. So again, meta had earnings last night up uh, big, but it's been selling off. It's been in this tight, tight range. And then it broke down and then popped up and then it broke down again. And this is my first entry and I'm piecing into these entries um, just because 
I want to be conservative, but here we are coming back down to lows. Um, I have a tiny piece on I wanted to get more on, uh, but did not get filled up there for that. And we are about 50 cents off of lows. So I am probably going to just keep it on pause and let this thing bounce around. Again, I'm looking to get filled for more size up here, stops above here, and we are looking to um, make new lows. I think there are sellers in here, but we will see. Right now, short with a very small quarter of my size at 318.92, just, just around 319. Looking to get more pieces on <clears throat> in the mid 19s and up near 20 as well. So we'll see what we get. Gonna go back on pause. Check, check, check. A couple of minutes later here, and I did get filled for a second lot up here at the 60s. Uh, average price on this meta short is now 1927. I have half my size on. Um, so really being slow getting into this again um, got another piece trying to get on near 320 stop uh, above 320 40s average price now is 1927 and looking for new lows on this meta and this meta is looking weaker and weaker come making its way back down to the low 18s I'm looking to cover uh, underneath 18, the half, the piece I put on up here in the 1960s, already appointing the money on that piece. Um, so I'm looking to get, and here it is coming into the low 18s. Let's see if they can attack those 18s. I'm going to cover half uh, down below 18 if I can get it. Um, my first cover is like right around there. Let's see if we can get that piece. Uh, off down below 18 if they come attack these 18s. That is still up 6%, so need to be wary of that. Here they come into the low 20s. Let's see if they attack those 18s again. Looking for these bids to get get beat on. Looking for that offer to step down like that, actually. <clears throat> and here we go. Let's see if they attack it. Here's 1890s. Got it down there. Um, got that piece off down there. Um, went down to the 40s. Real nice move. Let's see if they make another flush on this meta. 50s. Don't really want to give too much back here. So I have my finger on the button to... Let's see if they attack it again. Here's the 50s, 40s, and they're not really attacking it now. I want to see that offer step down, that 53. I want to see it keep stepping down like that. Can we get down flush? Watching that offer. I want to see it keep stepping down, down to 47. Up to 50, I'm covering, I'm flattening, and I am out of everything down here <clears throat> in this low 17s. Um, I just did not see the offer fading away there, and I'm not in the mood to give it back. So there might be a bigger play to make on this meta. It's still up 6.5%. It did come in significantly. I waited for it to crack pre-market lows, got the short on in two pieces here, and then covered down 
into lows and that will likely be my day. I'm going to set a 317 low a day alert. It might get down there. I may have covered prematurely, but um, I'm going to get on with work and get on with my day and capture this um, nice little scalp trade, basically. Meta might have more in it, but time will tell.